Hey guys, and it's that time of the year. We are one month away from the official Galaxy S9 announcement, and just today, Samsung has released the official teaser for the Galaxy S9 that reveals its best killer feature, which is the camera. Like I said in my previous video, that camera is going to be the main headline feature of the S9 family. It's the biggest camera change since the Galaxy S7. So we have this teaser image that says the camera is really imagine not only that it shows us three important details which I'm gonna talk about in a bit but you can see the tagline camera reimagine I actually showed you this a month ago via a trademark leak and now it's confirmed that this is the tagline they're using for the Galaxy S9 camera we got the number 9 in between which confirms that Samsung will not be skipping any numbers and at the bottom corner you can see the date which is February 25 2018 a day before the the MWC 2018 kicks off, so we are exactly 32 days away from the unveiling of the Galaxy S9. Now let's get to the informative, juicy part of this whole teaser. Right at the start, you can see these seeds slowly and super slowly moving around and revealing this number 9. All of this clearly hints at a super slow-mo video feature. Uh, we know this already thanks to the leaks that the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus will be able to shoot 480 FPS slow-mo videos at 1080p and 960 frames per second super slow-mo videos at 720p. Then comes the number 9 and notice the color, it's in purple. There's a reason why this number is in purple color. This indicates that this might be the new color debuting with the Galaxy S9. I showed you guys some couple of purple Galaxy S9 renders uh, some months ago. The renders were made by SamsungMobile.News. Great work and I have to say this color looks pretty good. It will make the Galaxy S9 family stand out compared to previous Samsung phones because we haven't seen this color anywhere before so this is definitely the color that I would go for no doubt about it. And then look at how this video ends. The scene just blurs out and goes out of focus, then focuses on the actual event date. This is a tease of what might be the biggest feature of this camera. The camera on the Galaxy S9 features a wide f1.5 aperture. That's the widest value on any smartphone right now. And this will allow you to take beautiful portrait shots with perfectly blurred background. So the Galaxy S9 camera will be taking the live focus game to a next level. And it seems like the camera will give you a full control over the adjustment of the bokeh effect. The Galaxy S9 will also feature a variable aperture of f1.5 slash f2.4 and it will work very similar to a DSLR camera. Users will be able to adjust the aperture before taking a picture. The two aperture values can be adjusted to allow for more or less light to go through the lens. The S9 Plus on the other hand will feature a two dual 12 megapixel camera sensors on the back. With f1.5 and f2.4 aperture. We'll get optical image stabilization on both lenses. The optical zoom will be there of course and advanced depth detection for portrait shots. So it seems like this camera will be a serious upgrade over the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8 of the last year. Also there's been a new live hands-on leak of the Galaxy S9. Just a short video with sticker on the back of the phone saying 24 Feb 2018 which is one day before the official announcement. So it's a very short video. It actually feels like a dummy of the Galaxy S9. So right around this time we'll be seeing a lot of dummies of the S9. You can see the single camera on the back with fingerprint scanner below it. It's very similar to the Galaxy A8 2018 that I've been using for the past week. I'll be making a full review pretty soon. And if you guys don't know, I am giving away a Galaxy A8 2018. So to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and lastly, leave a comment below. I will be picking a random comment on February 20th, so all my social media links are down in the description. Now back to the topic, the finger image scanner placement in my usage has been pretty nice and much better than the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8. There was another lively titled Galaxy S9 Touch Sensitivity Test 
that showed the screen sensitivity the guy just typed something on the keyboard it reminds me to the last year's galaxy s8 uh touch sensitivity leak it's very similar to that uh, but yeah, one thing that it shows is the bottom bezel, uh, which does look slightly thinner compared to the bottom bezel of the Galaxy S8. But overall, it is the same design as the S8 family, which is awesome. I mean, the Galaxy S8 still looks pretty futuristic. It's fresh, in my opinion. It's still one of the best looking phones on the market. We also got a new CAD leak that uh, further confirms the final design of the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. We also recently saw this component leak which revealed that the battery size is same as the last year model so S9 is still coming with a 3000 mAh cell while the S9 Plus will be rocking a 3500 mAh battery and the fast charging speed will also be similar to the last year's model as well so there will be no change in that uh, not that it's a bad thing i mean they still charge up pretty fast and samsung is still offering you a fast charger right out of the box rather than making you pay extra for a fast charger so they're not doing that i do feel like the battery performance will still be better than the last year's generation because of the new processor so we have a second generation 10 nanometer exynos 9810 cpu it's not only faster but also battery friendly and also the snapdragon 845 in the us will also provide you a better battery performance i honestly feel that they will have better battery performance than the current s8 and s8 plus i've been very satisfied with the battery performance even after a year the galaxy s8 plus still comes second in the all-star battery drain battle that i did a couple of weeks ago so anything improved from that will be excellent and just for your information take it with a grain of salt uh, this guy sent me some information on my facebook page regarding the specs of the galaxy s9 and s9 plus uh, this paper sheet is provided to a company in South Korea that is making boards for the Galaxy S9 and it says 3200 millibar battery for Galaxy S9 and 3700 millibar cell for the S9 Plus. This image used here is actually a render of Venia Gaskin so from that I assume that it could be fake. Uh, so I would say take this with a grain of salt. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I mean still it feels like there's a possibility i mean nothing is fully confirmed if they actually increase the battery size then it will be super awesome but we'll see more details about that soon recently samsung revealed some new isocell camera sensor which includes the isocell bright isocell fast and isocell slim sensors uh, their new features will be used in the camera for the Galaxy S9 and most notably the ability to perform super speed autofocus and super slow motion video has been highlighted. Just an hour ago, Ice Universe tweeted out they are saying 1000 FPS Galaxy S9 camera. So it is expected that the super slow mo video at 1000 frames per second will be one of the highlights of this camera. And along with that, we'll see 480 FPS slow mo at 1080p and 4K recording at 30 slash 60 frames per second. Also, a major news that for the first time talks about the Galaxy S9 software. So we have nothing about that. And finally, this is the news that is coming from China. It says that Galaxy S9 is going to come with a new software UI that Samsung has exclusively developed for this device. And it's going to offer some features that we have never seen on any UI from Samsung. So this is pretty awesome news because the current Experience 9.0 UI which I'm using on my Note 8 is based on Oreo. It is phenomenal. I mean, it performs so good. Uh, there is zero lag and Samsung is now bringing even more features software-wise with the Galaxy S9's UI and I'm really excited to see what it's going to be and hopefully this new UI might come to the older devices as well such as the Note 8 or even the Galaxy S8. The Exynos Twitter account is sharing some Exynos 9810 chipset features. So uh, this particular image shows us that it's two times faster in single core and 1.4 times faster in multi-core. I'm really interested in seeing the benchmark results, which you still have yet to see because this processor is expected to be the most powerful in the Android world. So I'm excited for that. Also with the Galaxy S9, Samsung might announce a new wireless charging pad similar to Apple. Apple's air power that will allow multiple devices to get charged simultaneously. There will be a new DeX pad as well, an updated successor to the Samsung's DeX. 
Also, Samsung is working super hard on their new AI chip. According to a report from South Korea, Samsung is developing its own NPU, aka Neural Processing Unit or Neural Processor, to improve artificial intelligence. It's been reported that Samsung's AI chip will reportedly be more advanced than Apple's and Huawei's AI chip. It is also expected that Samsung will showcase some of its NPU's capabilities at the Galaxy S9 launch event next month. Some more case leaks showing us the same design. Also, the Galaxy S8 and Note 8 now come with free AKG wireless headphones in United States only. We've heard a couple of months back that the Galaxy S9 might offer wireless AKG headphones right out of the box, which separately cost $180. For those who will pre-order the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus right after the launch, might be able to get this free love from Samsung, which is the wireless AKG headphones. I definitely think that something like this can happen. And for those of you who are wondering, the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, they still have headphone jacks. So no worries there. And a quick look at one of the Samsung recent patents that shows a 3D touch implementation. Last year, Samsung filed for a patent that describes a technology very similar to Apple's 3D touch. Adding these sensors on a curved display is certainly not an easy task. I mean, the Galaxy S8 does feature a force touch home button and with Galaxy S9, Samsung might expand that to the other parts of the display. Either way, it's in patent. Maybe it's for the S9, maybe it's for the far upcoming Galaxy Note 9, or even the Galaxy X. And lastly, if we talk about the pricing of these phones, right now there are no leaks on this, but the Galaxy S9 is expected to cost $850, whereas the S9 Plus would go $1,000. The recently announced Galaxy A 2018 phones are $600 plus devices, which shows that Samsung is definitely increasing the pricing, and there's no way that S9 Plus would cost less than a thousand. So buckle up, prepare them wallets and kidneys. So yeah guys, the beast is on the hunt. The Galaxy S9's killer feature, the main upgrade is going to be with its camera. It's going to be the biggest change in the phone since the Galaxy S7. I'm excited for that. It's gonna get announced officially on February 25, live in Barcelona, Spain. Hopefully, I will be there to give you guys first-hand experience of the Galaxy S9. Let me know your thoughts about this. Are you excited? Are you considering the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus? Are you saving money for the S9 and S9 Plus? And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.